Um, <clears throat> I should say my mother was my first teacher uh, because it is uh, Sorry? Yeah, um, I initially picked up uh, music from my mother because she used to be a singer, she used to she has learned classical music and um, she used to sing a lot of devotional songs. So she taught me a lot of devotional songs. I used to sit with her in the puja room and uh, she used to teach me songs and I used to sing with her. And gradually when she was singing for uh, singing in temples, I used to just accompany her and sing along with her. So that's how I, that's how the um, interest was developed and uh, that's when uh, my parents uh, realized that this talent was there in me. And then um, at the age of 12, I formally started learning uh, Carnatic music under a guru. Actually, I was, uh, I should say I was a fanatic of cricket because my father was a cricketer. So, he used to encourage my cricket activities and he used to come for all my matches. He used to advise me. Uh, if I you know, played a bad shot, he used to say, no, you should have played this way. You know, that kind of thing. And he used to uh, come and buy, buy my... Uh, cricket kit and take a lot of interest in that kind of thing. So, it was he who uh, developed my cricketing skills and um, so that way uh, it, it was difficult and at the same time I think it, it all just happened without uh, my knowledge like when I was studying in school and college, cricket was very important to me. I used to play a lot of cricket. But music, I never used to practice. I used to just sing. Because God gave me a voice and I just made use of it. But I never used to practice. I was not very interested in Carnatic music. But cricket being a sport, normally youngsters are more attached to games rather than... Uh, art forms. Very rarely you find a child really, um, unless he is a prodigy, you find him really interested in uh, Carnatic music or classical dance. It's, it's a little. So, my passion was more towards cricket. It is only later on that music took over. Uh, actually, when I was young, um, my mother actually forced me to uh, get into Carnatic music. So I was not very interested. Um, so, in, even in, in between, I told her, uh, no, I don't want to study Carnatic music. Uh, I find it very boring and things like that. But my mother insisted. But cricket... Um, I was very interested because being a game and my father really encouraged me to play cricket and uh, I played for school, college and all that. So, uh, actually it was my passion. So, at one point of time I had to make a decision whether cricket or music. So, uh, cricket one thing I, what I feel is that if you don't reach a certain level, uh, within a certain age, then it's really no point continuing uh, and taking music, uh, cricket as a career. Um, so that way, I couldn't reach a certain level within a certain age. So I thought music was the best choice and music came to me also naturally and so I just took it up. Who 
Yeah, I uh, started formal uh, learning at the age of 12. And for I started learning Um, I started uh, formal training at the age of 12 from Mr. V. L. Seshadri and uh, I learned for about 4 or 5 years from him. And then I went on to learn from Dr. S. Ramanathan and uh, at present I am uh, learning under uh, Srimati Savitri Satyamurthy and uh, Calcutta K. S. Krishnamurthy. I also had the opportunity, the good fortune of attending a workshop on a very spe special workshop on Vinay Dhanamal Bani. Uh, this workshop was mainly, uh, it mainly focused on Padams, Javalis and very rare pieces, very rare Kritis. So, it was a very useful workshop and uh, this was under Sangeeta Kalanidhi, uh, T. Brinda and uh, T. Vishwa. Yeah, I think uh, in any classical art, any form of classical art, or I think in any field, you don't really stop learning. And especially in music, uh, the more you know, the more you start knowing, the more you feel that you don't know. That kind of a feeling. The more you <clears throat> go into music, you feel that you don't know. You need, you need to know much more. So that's the greatness of the classical art. And uh, what about your career in film? How did you start? Yeah, career, uh, film uh, was quite unexpected because uh, I had no idea of uh, singing for films though I used to sing a lot of uh, film songs on stage when I was very young like uh, when I was in school and college I used to sing a lot of I used to participate in a lot of intercollegiate and interschool cultural activities so then I had to I used to sing and uh, I was a great admirer of uh, Dr. Uh, Yeshi Das and uh, he's been a very great inspiration from a very young age uh, so, I used to sing a lot of his songs and all that. So, but then the, actually the opportunity came when uh, Mr. A.R. Rahman uh, invited me to sing for uh, one of his films, that's uh, Kadalan. And uh, I should thank uh, Director Shankar also for having, see, the, it's also the, the director has to be happy with the singer. So, I think. Uh, thanks go to both of them for having introduced me to the um, film industry. That's my that was my first song, uh, Enna Vali Adi Enna Vali. How, how the song go? Enna Vali Adi Enna Vali Yenda Nida Yettai Tholai Tu Vitte Yenda Idam Madhu Tholai Nda Idam Manda Idatta Yum Marandu Vitte. So it goes. That's right, I got the national award for this and another song, Uyurum Niye Udalum Niye. Uyurum Niye Udalum Niye Uravum Niye Thaye. So, this was for a movie called Pavitra, whose direction uh, was done again by music direction by A.R. Rahman, and uh, the film director was uh, Mr. Subhash. So, these are the two songs which got me the national award and uh, for the first, first song was Enamali. Um, there is one thing I would like to ask you, when you have uh, singing both the forms, classical and you can say, there, there is scope for expansion. <coughs> right. You can enjoy the things that you like. We are in a film based recording thing where everything is there. What do you think is the difference in the biggest movie? 
both forms of music are difficult in its own way like when you take carnatic music um, you have to be well prepared you have to really practice every day only then the confidence will be there because you you are facing an audience you are singing you have only one chance you make a mistake you have made a mistake so there's no correcting but whereas film in a take you can take any number of takes till you perfect it but in a concert you make a mistake and that's it and uh, the other thing is in a carnatic music concert you have very limited instruments you have a violin you have a mridangam you have a gadam or uh, a ganjira or mosing that, that's the most you have but whereas when you come to a film song you have so many other instruments you have backing chords keyboards etc plus in a carnatic music concert um, these songs are in prepared in advance you you sing it 100 times 50 times before you really perfect it and present it to the audience and you have the raga alapana which is uh, manodharma that's uh, sponta- spontaneous it's on the spot so you have swara kalpana swara which also is on the spot but when you take film music it's all it's all set a music director uh, explains this is the tune it has to be like this there's no change you could probably just improvise it a bit and not more than that so this is the um, basic difference there are a lot of differences i mean these are the few basic uh, differences which okay. yeah uh, both are different one basic difference is that in a carnatic concert 50% of the concert is spontaneous raga alap swara kalpana swara nirval etc but in a film song it's all planned the tune is set in the beginning the, you you cannot improvise it much maybe just very few improvisations here and there and if the music director allows you can do it otherwise you cannot that is a basic difference but there are various many other differences like you are in a studio plus uh, in a concert you are facing an audience plus uh, the instruments used in a cl- classical concert is different from what you use in a film song it's there's, there's much more um, instrument uh, instrumentation in a uh, film song so there are various differences i think both are dif- difficult in their own way because carnatic music you have to practice every day and uh, only then you will be confident to present a concert before an audience uh, and uh, in case in 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 the case of a film song when you go to the studio you must be quick to grasp at the present day it's it's like that everything is so fast you have to go there they give you the lyrics they give you the tune you have to immediately get the tune and sing it with a feel the music director wants just close the door yeah yeah i'm aaj panirun okay 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 thank you very much uh, 60 uh, I, sh- uh, i should be leaving on 16th mm. yeah mom okay 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 thank you very much 
அந்த சவுண்ட் வந்துருச்சுல இந்த ஃபோன் சவுண்ட் கேம் feedback. Uh, when you sing in a concert you are able to get the feedback immediately plus even after the concert people call you up and when you see the crowd you you know what they really want whether they are really enjoying it otherwise they wouldn't come for the concert i mean when you get large audiences you immediately are able to find out that what you're singing is being accepted by them Then and there, you would have That's to right. Go ahead and, or I have to stop it. How, what? Yeah. See, sometimes in uh, in some cases, um, I myself don't know what I'm going to sing. Sometimes it's very difficult to plan concerts because in some places you're not aware what kind of audience is going to come. Even if the organizers tell you, sometimes unless you see for yourself, you will not be able to really judge. And by just looking at the audience after the first two songs you will easily be able to know the kind of audience and i think the audience response is very important for the success of a concert because only if they reciprocate we will get inspired and that it's a kind of cycle they get inspired we i get inspired and it's it then only then it reaches the peak so it's very important that the audience should be there very good if the audience is not good then it's a little difficult to really you know sustain that uh, that tension and that uh, verve is it in some in most of the cases even the accompanists my co-artists who accompany me they do they may not know what i'm going to sing because sometimes even if i tell them earlier i may change it on stage so actually that is the greatness of the uh, the classical art the classical music because each one does his part and makes the whole concert a uh, success so that's uh, that's one very uh, unique feature because each one the violinist doesn't know what i'm going to sing uh, earlier before the concert only when i start singing then he immediately accompanies when you sing the swaras he immediately joins in so he sometimes will not know whether whether i'm going to sing swara sometimes i may sing the swara sometimes i may not sing swara so he must be ready everything is, he has to be very attentive very so that it's very interesting actually the whole concept how long have you been married i've been married for 4 years now say 3 and 1/2 years it's uh, november 90 april be 4 years Uh, my wife is basically a bharatanatyam and mohini atam dancer and she is very interested in uh, music uh, plus her father and mother sister all of them are very involved with carnatic music uh, my wife's father is a great connoisseur of carnatic music so that way my wife also got that interest and she has been a very good critic of mine and uh, very critically analyzes every concert and comes for all the concerts so that way i have a very good companion
is uh, we encourage uh, encourage him uh, to play cricket as well as uh, continuous uh, music early stages we were not sure what he will take up because he was fairly good or is talented in both the fields so we thought we will encourage uh, him in both the fields let him make his final choice who finally made the choice choice was uh, unis there was no because he thought that was his uh, fort music was his fort yeah you you know, but you give me some this is already taken no 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 i know what uh, now the time is over as early as 8 uh, to 9 years uh, his uh, he was very good uh, his approach to cricket was very good because i, I myself was a cricketer i could notice that so i used to encourage him playing at home we had a big uh, house here at that time that we can play inside the house itself so that helped him and cricket came to him naturally of course then uh, my wife who was in you know, herself a good uh, musician also noted uh, his musical talents because he had a very nice voice because he used to sing bhajans with her and that uh, helped uh, her to notice that uh, talent you know and then he, she thought she should encourage him so both uh, cricket which was his first love and music uh, developed within him to us rather and later on we put him under uh, proper coaching as far as cricket is concerned there were coaches and then uh, for music we put him under uh, uh, guru so his training started uh, both in cricket as well as uh, music as early as 9 uh, or 10 years Madam, uh, can you tell me why did you insist uh, on him to uh, play? Because he has got very good voice, no? So he used to sing with me. Then I thought, let him continue with music. Did you at that point of think that he will come this long? No, no. <laughs> Was there a fight between you that he should play cricket and you should not play? No, never a uh, fight as such. <laughs> in fact we encourage both and we left it to him to decide what future he should take and of course he was a lost to cricket at some point of time he would have reached very high levels in cricket if he had continued because he was a he was playing for the madras cricket club here and he was as a opening bat and then he was a keeper also then you know the music over to And, uh, you know there are no regrets now that anyway only regret is that he is not a cricketer now but he has compensated amply by being a top uh, musician today both in uh, carnatic as well as film music this period he was going through that means if he was in cricket and which time he was he was uh, at that time uh, You mean uh, the test level or something? No, no, not uh, level. Uh, Basically, like Sachin came, uh, uh, Ravi Shastri came, uh, other players came. So, with came. whom would he be standing today? If Sachin oh. came, ah, that means he would have been in in uh, maybe Sachin said he is only twenty-five now. He is now thirty. So, like five years. Ah, little earlier. How much? 
Krishna. Are you? Krishna.